happy Tuesday. No one told me I forgot my intro last week and I didn't realize it till like Friday. Um, I've been applying for jobs and a lot of them have been in summer camps like all over. I think one's actually with like for military kids and it's anywhere from Florida to um, Germany to Japan, I think Hawaii is another one. Us girls have discussed it and we would love a place to talk to you. Like we, us, us those writer girls have a group called Those Writer Girls and it's private so no one can see what we're talking about and it's just kind of like we can post um, documents there on Facebook and you know post something and we all can reply to it and it's really awesome so I was thinking like a writer fighters or book girls wouldn't work It'd be cool if all ten of us had a forum to talk in but that's just me so this week we're talking about writer's block and I am not exactly the best person to ask about writer's block because I've had the book we have talked about that I started writing and it's halfway done and I haven't picked it up for two years. Partly that's because I was a different person when I wrote it back then and I'm kind of afraid to pick it up now, but I'm working on it. I have steps. There are not 12 of them, but I have steps. But when it came to my nano novel, there are a few little things that I did for myself that helped my momentum, I guess. And I actually had something that was like an ongoing little document on my desktop that I called the bucket. Is where I threw in ideas. If an idea popped into my head and I, oh I want to put that in the book, but I wasn't at a point in my writing where it would fit or I didn't quite want it there, whatever, I would put it in my bucket. So then when I'm writing, and I get to a point where it kind of fizzles down and I don't know exactly where to go from there, I go to my bucket and I would see if there was anything in there that would help my momentum. And there was a point towards the end, the last week, when I wasn't sure how I wanted to end it. I went back and to everything and see if I could insert anything in my bucket back there and to write it. So that kind of helped my word count. It's the idea bucket. I might patent that. Someone's probably already came up with it. But to help the insanity. And then of course you guys have heard of the plot bunny. Slight problem. I can't make a plot bunny. And so I made a llama schnauzer. And I was frustrated. So I decided to make an origami something that I knew how to make. And so I made a frog. Because a frog I can make really easily and it hops. And yeah. And so since that was the plot bunny, I had to come up with something. And this was the dialogue frog. Because I'm not very good at dialogue. So when I would be sitting there trying to figure out how I wanted this dialogue to go, I would sit there and hop my frog. And everyone has a totem. I don't know, kind of like Inception totem in a way. But mine is a lucky stone. And I wrote create on it and put purple on the back and I would just sit there and rub it if I was stuck. So a lot of my stuff is mental because I tend to go mental when I get writer's block. One dollar. I've never read them. I blame book fighters. Sorry. And I love to use books. I kind of wish they were a little more trashed. I love trashed books. I thought Anna's thing about, um, you know, used books and stuff was awesome because I'm like that. My circle of friends is trash enough. I like trashed books. Me and my friend um, will go to, we'll try to find the most obscure, random, small used bookstores and see what gems we can find, like treasure hunting. Anyways, so Lord of the Rings. I already have The Hobbit. I'm going to start with that one. My question, favorite takeout food, Mongolian barbecue. You have to co-host part of your video with a stuffed animal, making it talk. Anna and Rachel, I'll see you tomorrow.